we're here to talk about the outrageous um, manner in which one of our colleagues uh, from Florida, uh, Representative West, has treated one of our uh, very revered colleagues, Debbie Wasserman Schultz. And it's not just that he has treated her that way. We see this as a uh, historic and systemic way uh, that women have been subjected to sexism, particularly in this venue, in this political environment. Just once again, we have been told that in order to be a lady, that we need to just stay in our places. Um, I can tell you that so long, it was so hard for women to, to get into politics, it's still very difficult for women to get into politics. We're underrepresented in politics, and it's because it is hard for us to be taken seriously. Women came together to raise their voices for social justice and equality. They spoke out for the emancipation of slaves. They spoke out in favor of giving women the right to vote and to own property and to take part in the political process. Achieving those goals took a long, hard fight, Mr. West. But I want to draw your attention to the fact that women and like-minded men won that fight. Now, I've got to tell you that uh, standing up for what you believe in, speaking out on the floor of Congress, getting elected to office is very ladylike, Mr. West. Harsh words like the ones chosen by Congressman West make it that much harder for both sides to come together and solve these big problems that we face. We have to be able to disagree on issues without questioning one another's motive. There is really no place in the people's house for the kind of incivility that we witnessed with his remarks. The American people expect us to act respectfully of one another and this great institution that we're all privileged to serve in. For me, it's actually both um, sad and troubling, but not entirely surprising that this institution here in the United States House of Representatives um, is reflective of what women experience in workplaces all across this country. But it shouldn't happen here in the United States House of Representatives. And so I say shame on him. I think the American people deserve a full debate, a comprehensive debate about the issues that face us. And that doesn't have to devolve to personal attacks. No, sticks and stones will not break Congresswoman Wasserman Schultz's bones, and neither will Congressman West Blackberry. It is no longer enough to say you disagree with someone's position. You have to question their patriotism, call them names, say they hate puppies, <laughs> and yell, you lie. Many good people from across the political spectrum have called for a return to civility. But actions speak louder than words. But this is a democracy. We have freedom of speech. And it is ladylike to stand up and speak for what you believe. Thank you, uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, for speaking up and standing up for what you believe. Thank you.